Hi, I'm Sheree Tata, and I am the ministry lead at our church. And um, the reason that I um, took on this role was because I really liked the philosophy and um, of safe families and the um, idea of biblical hospitality. And so as I looked over all the roles, I decided that uh, ministry lead was the one that fit my life best right now. And um, Basically, what that role encompasses is to sort of be, um, I see myself as the liaison between Safe Families staff and the staff of our church, the ministers, the elders, um, the leadership of our church. So um, I also see myself as sort of the face of Safe Families. So if anyone in our church is interested or has a question, that they would come to me. I'm like the central person. And um, that's just really helpful on the administrative side. Um, but practically what I do is um, if there's a hosting that is go going to be started in our church, I um, talk with the host family first to find out what they, you know, what they think they're going to need. And then I just jump on it and I start to um, try to fill all those needs as much as possible. We have been so blessed to be able to provide some pretty substantial support to the Referring Mom too, which um, has actually ended up being probably the most beautiful part of this whole thing. Um, so our first, uh, one of our first hostings, we um, found out that the mom was homeless. She was just getting housing and um, she basically had nothing. So I put the word out, I put the call out and our church um, really stepped up and we supplied um, almost her entire wish list of what she needed. And um, then I got several of the men and um, the church to meet me at her apartment and we just filled it up and she didn't have to do anything. She was pregnant at the time and expecting any day. So she didn't have to lift, didn't have to do anything. She just told us where to put stuff. Um, so we followed that up with texting with her and just sort of um, encouraging her and letting her know that we'll always be there for her. Um, our another hosting that we had, um, there was a very unique need for the for the referring mom. She needed some. Um, tutoring done. So I was asked if I knew anybody in the church that could do that. So I put the feelers out and um, I it just ended up that it was my son, my adult son, who um, I made arrangements for him to come over um, to my house and they did tutoring at, um, at my house. Um, I thought that was probably the safest, best way to do it. And, but not only that, I wanted it to be more than just, hey, come over, sit at my table. Um, and my son's gonna teach you. And so I offered for her to come over for dinner and just eat with our family. And so um, fortunately she did that. And so it gave her and I an opportunity because my all my kids ate fast and kind of scattered, but it gave her and I a chance to sit and talk and for me to listen and get to know her um, before she and my son then moved into the dining room and they sat at the table for about an hour and just hearing him encourage her and. Um, build her up was just a wonderful thing. So those are just some things to think about it when you're in the ministry lead that yes, you would do a lot of administrative things, but you can also um, be that extra support for the referring mom beyond just the host family, but also for that referring mom, get to know her. These moms, these referring moms or fathers or, you know, couples, they um, show so much courage to allow, to be able to say, you know what, I am feeling very alone and isolated and you know, that's probably the number one reason that they need safe families because you know, they don't have that um, community to, to help them out and to come support them. And so it just really speaks to me, um, the, need, the need for community and, and how um, you know, isolation can be, um, so difficult. So yes, it's important that we equip our host families for sure. But that referring mom, that's the whole point is for her to come and just have a community that she may have never or he may have never felt before in a positive in a positive light. Um, so I, I am so blessed that we have people in our church that will text the mom um, check in on the mom, not just the host mom or me or the coach, but actual just 
family friends that are just taking it upon themselves to do that. So I feel like this mom is just, con you know, hopefully just feeling the love of Jesus and the love of community and, and will want to know more about, about our church or about, you know, the Lord and um, feel love. Everybody in the church, each individual has a gift of hospitality and it doesn't mean they have to take the children into their home but they can do something and it's just a me trying to um, through the Holy Spirit um, finding ways to get people to recognize that they too can can be a help to save families